Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touchy. Just don't do anything crazy. Sokolov's changed everything again, and we don't know what the hydraulics can do now. We've got him here today doing a portrait. If there's a time to try something, it's now. Hello, sir. Corvo, you're back! Can you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. All right then, let's go see Mother. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Run with me! You saw my improvements to the waterlock. I do my duty for the realm, but not gladly. In this painting, I insult my own genius. See what I'm forced to paint? The High Overseer is no beauty. I must preserve our High Overseer for future generations of the faithful to marvel at. I'm sure the Empress is eager to see you, eh, Corvo? I leave the worst parts of him in shadow, but still. Hmm. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. I overseer, I must ask you to hold your pose. 
No foreigner can save us from the consequences of our corrupt society. No fancy elixirs, either. Remember, to every man his choice, to every man his fate. Say what you will, this plague has brought the faithful to our doors. Things are... She'll see you at once. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? She's getting more beautiful every year. I'll be happier back with the watch. I'm no diplomat. Strange, we saw whales off Whitecliff. It's too early in the year. I hope we're not fools to come back here. The plague's only getting worse. Hello, my lord. The Empress and young lady Emily will be pleased to have you back, Lord Protector. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What Follow news me, have Captain. you brought? We should leave them alone. Did you see any pirates? Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. Corvo, if you won't marry my mother, would you marry me? Later, will you show me that Tivian chokehold like you promised? I won't tell Mother. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> Emily, get behind me! Look out! Another one! <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. This is your final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease.
That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corpho. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. the execution tomorrow. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the nice noble work. Lord Protector. Get a few more shot. before they get you. They're as bad as us betting on the dogs. You're out. Good for you. Cut some throats. Attention. The solitary wing is off-limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance <laughs> with one week's notice. Seen anybody with signs of the sickness? work, they don't get their ration of elixir. It's that simple. The military or the plague? Life is hard. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Slug, did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitary only.
Corvo's execution is tomorrow, right? Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't wait to see his head roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. You always amuse me. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the walk. Escort to the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. some kind of explosive to blast his way out. That doesn't happen by accident. You think he had help? Who'd know how to do that? Bottle Street Gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merchants and whores down there. Kids like you, you never saw what he was like. I saw him fight three to one in the practice yard. He's a whirlwind. I hope it's me that finds him. I hope it is too. Elixir preventer? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there. The rats.
Attention Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the City Watch at once. Won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. And what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Did I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? Blow off. Huh? Stay alert, you worms. He's not getting out this way on my watch. some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here, but I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business, half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Royalists. 
The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. I'm sure the Admiral is anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We've found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with him. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the others, but... There's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the Crown. Have you talked to Piero yet? He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him when you can. You don't know what it means to work with a man who stood at the Empress's right hand. We can't bring her back, but at least we have the man she trusted most. And maybe we can help you right some of the wrongs done to you. This bar is mine, but please, treat it as your home. Piero still wants a word with you. He's, well, he's not a diplomat, but he's a brilliant man. Samuel is a blessing. Without him, we couldn't navigate the waters of the river at night. We keep our lights low to avoid prying eyes. What I wouldn't give to be back at sea. I told him I'd be damned if I sail under a usurper's flag. You should have seen their faces. Curse the Lord Regent. I might have taken to piracy after the Navy, but then inspiration struck me, and I started assembling our little group here. The Empire was built on its Navy. Never forget that. I served proudly until the bureaucrats took over. Pendleton's a good man. Used to be close to that snake, the Lord Regent himself. Don't be fooled by the fact that Pendleton's a noble, though. Not all of them are terrible. I bought this bar years ago. There were some happy times here before the plague hit the city. Before the Empress was killed and everything went to shit. We'll make it right again, together. I'll 
be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject and the necessary legal amnesty. Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it near the receptacle. Magnetism will do the rest. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I.
Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days, but you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. There's something distinguished about you, Corvo. Was there nobility back in your family line? I wouldn't be surprised. Did you know I'm distant kin to the late Empress in her line? Not close enough, sadly. I'll never be Emperor. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. Most of the nobility went straight over to the Lord Regent's side after the Empress died. Easiest thing to do. But to me, a noble birth requires a sense of loyalty. This city has fallen into ruin since the plague struck. These poor weepers moaning and bleeding from the eyes. They say there's no cure for the plague once it advances that far. Mm. Terrible. Hi. You must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. I'm sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic, though, isn't it? I used to be the hostess here. Oh, I can tell you stories about that, believe me. You can call on Cecilia for the more menial tasks. It's what she's suited for. I hope the bed's to your liking. Let me know if you have trouble sleeping. Please follow me to your quarters.
This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and bones not by teeth. This is the place from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. And this place is their doom. I can feel the great age ending. This place is the end of all things. And at the beginning. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.
Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Good day, Master Corvo. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes, and I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. She's a smart one. I hope the attic's to your liking. I've slept there myself on summer nights. I went and knocked on the front door a few nights ago for a joke. No one thought it was funny. You know, I tried to attend services with the Overseers for a while. They've just gotten more and more, I don't know, rabid about the seven strictures and witchcraft and all that nonsense. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Say, that's an interesting tattoo on your hand. Saw a lot of that in the Navy, but nothing quite like yours. Keep your eye out for Martin. I need him back here if we're going to pull this off. High Overseer Campbell tricked and bullied his way into power. The man is completely corrupt. The City Watch and the Overseers can't stand each other. The military doesn't mix well with a bunch of religious fanatics. You might be able to use that. Nervous? I would be. Tonight is the beginning of a new life for you. But you're killing for a just endeavor, remember that. High Overseer Campbell is a bastard, and we've got to find Emily. The Overseers are a strange bunch, completely obsessed with the Seven Strictures and hunting down heresy. I don't know if I believe in all that witchcraft bunk, but I saw some odd things at sea. My sister lost a tooth last month, fighting off some officer from the City Watch. The sooner the Lord Regent is gone, the better I say. Just you wait. I'll own this place one day. I've dreamed it. I think the Admiral's awfully distinguished, don't you? Everyone I know cried the day we heard the news about the Empress. Poor woman. And her little daughter lost. From what I understand, it just killed the Admiral to be cast out from the Navy. That was his life, before the Lord Regent came along. Someone came and banged on the door a few nights ago. I thought Lord Pendleton would piss himself. Oh, begging your pardon. To think what I spend, smuggling in wine for his Lordship. That Wallace can cook, yes. But the way he talks to us, you'd think he was a Lord himself. I'd work for you for a year for free if you managed to get that Lord Regent off the throne. None of the shops are open, all the business has dried up, and most people can't even walk the streets. That man's a blight on the city.
Oh, Corvo? If you've a moment. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Does part of the soul live in the heart? I overheard the, the Admiral at breakfast that talking mean about the, the Overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't I know too much about what you people are doing. Forever with electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if I created these processes in waking hours. I am uneasy pursuing avenues that emanate from my dreaming mind. He's my uncle and he means a lot to me. His name is Jeff Kernow. Captain Jeff Kernow. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and the money changes hands. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. If you decide to go up Clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Watch out for the Bottle Street thugs if you take to the alleys. Mean bastards. I'll be here when you come back. Midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. <laughs> Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John his Bottle Street boys jump you? Blow off.
the block, dead from the plague. Better them than us. At least some of them had money. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is the most honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, Sorry, I can't help you. Crisis, I don't know this area the yet. Of the of I'm the only Abraham, out because I was helping an older acquaintance get the home. State and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead counter. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I think the little birdies are sad today. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're to your wash. <laughs> Somebody! Yeah. Yeah. go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I'll wait until you've seen your present. Go ahead. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. 
You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, Granny, Granny. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. <sighs> Talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach into your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me.
Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Show me a drink, another night, another patrol with you. That's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. <coughs> Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. <clears throat> I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. <laughs>
Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander's zoological survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead count. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. Sorts with crazies, does rituals and the like, bone charms and such. You sound afraid. Right, I am doubting all three men. Touched by the outside things, get the dark powers. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district? With them weepers and wild hounds. That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs done. You'll want to check on them. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run it. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's gone. He sneaks in. You know Eddie. Brilliant at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job, hitting the dumbwaiter all night. Yeah, so he goes from room to room, kids sleeping, an overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, a kind of plinky plonky sound. That's what spooked him. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. spring up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. Okay, I got one for you. Well, give it. Okay, here goes. 
The nobleman laid with the scullery maid, so loudly they made quite a ride. The nobleman's wife took the butcher and knife and carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done kind of both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the gist. Now it's your turn. Oh, uh, let me think. Um, okay, yeah, I got one. Ready? I'm listening. There once was a sailor from Morley who fancied a woman most sorely. He gave her his cash, she gave him a rash, and that's all. There isn't no Morley. <laughs> all right, you win. You win. Well, I know a hundred of these old rhymes. My mummy used to tell them at me. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. She wouldn't put the crackers on the right side of the tray. She wouldn't put the crackers on the right side of the tray, so he sat. I think my wife and I will be able to ride this thing out. The plague has to pass eventually. You look like somebody important or dangerous. I've got no beef with you. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses the have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. The river rushed in with the area rug. All of the district went dark. dark. I will be, be glad to rest. Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. At the Academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. Why am I so cold? The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. What have they done to me? My father had gold hair. My mother hair like ash. Dead? Cold as a whaler's gaff hand. Fifty years old, at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Looked like twenty-five to me. Look here. It's twenty. It's five each, Counting Boo. You want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me, kid. You think you can cheat me? Come on, let's get this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna lose your corpse. This city is built on the bones of the great ones. When the last of the hyphen is gone, darkness will fall. 
The Abbey is dark, its doors are locked, and no more the great sermons. The overseers have taken to the streets. Can you hear them too? Crying out in the dark. The thinkers of the city. They devise new ways to detain the elements. Once they are brought here, they never leave. The overseers always find the guilt they seek. Hello, Martin. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Ha! Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. But that'll change. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging over them for days on end. Nothing would make me happier than joining you and the others, especially if they've tapped some of the finer kegs still left at the pub. The lever is just to my right here, Corvo. Outsider's eyes, these things chafe. Free me, and I swear I'll dedicate myself to our common cause. Only together can we end the Lord Regent and see young Lady Emily on the throne. With you as our sword arm, I have full faith in our efforts. I'd appreciate it if you could release me. It's the only way we can undo the wrongs done to you and to the daughter of the Empress. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily, so kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Never doubt it.
Overseas gone. They wade through, through chest high waters with their hounds. Do not let your keen eyes wander tonight, boy. There's word of bad men about. Here's a good boy. Good boy, Justice. Settle down, man. It's only me. Boreal's gone to the Flooded District and all the rest of them. So it's just me tonight. What? Don't look at me like that. Who's that, Regal? And that's Ratter, isn't it? How are you, boys? You miss your poor brother. those fools in Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hi, Remo, the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside. Somewhere near, a man has just taken his last breath. His eyes are still open. Misery. Everywhere.
corruption, such hypocrisy, may make me look on it no more. Search the place top to bottom, and nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we didn't find anything. Did I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck open, and I thought I could slip out? I couldn't find a way down. By the time I got back, it had snapped shut. I spent the rest of lockdown out on a ledge. <laughs> Maybe the outsider was watching. Once they're brought here, they the overseers always find the guilt they seek. Even now he whispers the prayer against witchcraft. Can you hear it? Back to the beginning. It was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Empire. He's as skilled as they say. He got through there with half the watch looking for him. He had help, yes, but how far does it go? The trail goes to Martin, but Martin knows everyone, everywhere. Bunch of children playing games, that's all it is. Good, good. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hold up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now, if you'll join me, men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree. I agree. A whore dies, and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. 
My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. Stop playing and come out at once. is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender, unusual tattooing on the face and chest, probably superstitious heresy, wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in, stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last? Give us a name at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit. He's gone. Here it is, a pin, hidden in one of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal. She's not a witch! I know her! Out of the way! You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn! All witches must burn! Bertolt, don't let them take me! I swear I've done nothing wrong! Silence your lying tongue, foul witch! 
Guards, to me! You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Intent to spread the malady to us? No, friend. I tell you, I am well. <laughs> as fit as ever. Put down your weapons. Just think for a moment before you. He was sick. Very, very sick. That much I'm sure of. 
Now to find some way to dispose of the body without spreading his illness. The way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all clear. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother was killed. I'd imagine the daughter of an Empress is tougher than you think. Hmm. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the City Watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And... He currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting bloc for my family. I'm very much aware of that. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes. And Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later.
You know, I expected a rough around the edges military man, like the Admiral. You're actually a gentleman. I heard a stilt walker pass a few blocks away. They must suspect we're here. We're risking so much. I do hope it all ends well. I know you're from Circonus, south of us, but you've lived in the city for years now. Though mostly at the palace, so you probably haven't even seen some of the worst districts. You know, I always wondered if you and the Empress... Mm, no, I shouldn't ask. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. My pa always wanted me to be an overseer. If he could see us now. You did right, Corvo. Even as a faithful man, I can see that. Some nights, I'm glad I just paddle the boat. The Admiral was right in recruiting you. Nothing's been the same since the Lord Regent took power. But at least Campbell's gone and my uncle lived. Next time I see my uncle, I will not mention my knowledge of any of this. But he will wonder why I'm smiling. Someday he will be in a position to help you, and he will not hesitate. Just you wait and see. I feel... hope. My, there is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the High Overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. Can I be of service to you? Tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly. Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future Empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find Welcome her. Welcome back, have Master you know. Corvo. Please learn your manners before then. My father served in the field under General Alfred Pendleton, where he took the wound that crippled him. I hope I will do no less if called upon. Until then, well... There is plenty of silver to polish. For my master's sake, I do hope a finer vintage becomes available. 
Why did they select such a drafty building as a base of operation? I had hoped the Admiral was of noble stock, but I very much fear he achieved his position through merit alone. Does no one have any silver polish? Sometimes I wonder if the plague is just going to go on and on and on, and kill everyone ever, and it's the end of the world. Think of that. If the city watch breaks in, I know what I'll do. I know how not to be noticed. I won't be the one to give us away. I saw the Lord Regent once. He stood on a balcony and stared. Wouldn't even wave to the people below. All I ever wanted is my own little place. Maybe if the plague kills enough folk, one day I can. Attention, Dunwall citizens. We'll have to you find are reminded soon. that assaulting a member of the city play, has been move. made a capital offense. Whiskey and guardsmen are authorized place, to good carry out this sentence on the spot. The I offender's possessions drink. are legally no. forfeited. What sort of court will we be left with when all this is over? The grand social events I remember might well never return. Some of the noble families will have to be purged, of course. I'll drink to their memory. The outsider knows they wouldn't drink to mine. are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. Memoir, Chapter 28. Waverly, Waverly, Waverly. The very name sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the boils. Sometimes I think this conspiracy feels like the start of a joke, don't you? An admiral, an aristocrat, and an overseer walk into a bar. <laughs> I wonder what the punchline will be. Without a leader, the Abbey's going to be in disarray for a while. But how to take advantage? Now's the moment when we need Martin. Damn these delays. If they ever find us, there'll be nothing left but ashes. When I bought this place, I never thought I'd be living here. The Navy was the only thing I loved. And I refused to see the Lord Regent ruin it. What kind of woman will young Emily grow up to be? Or will she even get to grow up? What kind of an empress will she be? That Samuel fellow looks familiar to me, but I can't place him. You're lucky I keep you on. It is every citizen's lucky. duty to report This place would fall apart in ten minutes actions. without me. The state depends on you. Is that so? You. In any case, you can't dismiss me. 
I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spreads fast. My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. When they come to get me, they'll be surprised. I've held a sword before, believe it or not. Please pardon the untidiness of the room. I will tend to it shortly. It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. Two barrels of flour, four weeks, eight men and three women... Oh no, I've lost it. All I ever wanted was to keep a respectable public house. Lady Lydia Pendleton. Ugh, no, I'd rather die of plague. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Master Piero has a great deal to learn in some areas. I'm sure Piero will make some lady a fine husband. Some other lady. I might even fancy him, but the way he stares at me, I don't even think he's aware of it. He spends all his time with books and machines. I don't think he understands that I'm not one of them. and weepers, roaming all over the city. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. This movement will have a cost. For some of us, it will be very high. I wonder, Corvo. Do you have brothers somewhere? You left your family on Sirkonos to come here for the Empress, didn't you? There will be lasting consequences when this is all said and done. Make no mistake about that.
who went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Good day to you, Corvo. Oh, I don't think I've noticed that tattoo on your hand before. It's interesting. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey, you've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Campbell's book appears to contain much more than we expected. He was blackmailing a number of highly ranked overseers. With the information in his journal, we will be able to manipulate the religious faction. The Overseers will bend to our will. You've never been to the Golden Cat? No, I suppose not. Me neither, of course. Interesting. I won't ask, but the mark on the back of your hand. Are you studying the Forbidden Arts, Corvo? Never mind. <laughs> We're all friends here. My neck still aches a little from the stocks. But I must say, you created quite an impression on the Overseers during your visit. They are a nervous lot now. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did, but they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight, at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. A challenge. Even for someone like you. Six months ago, I was out at the estate hunting with my brothers. Custis and Morgan were always better shots, though one of them nearly killed me, all for a cruel joke. Strange. I never thought I'd be the Pendleton heir, you know. I never expected any of this. By the outsider's eyes, I'm going to drink tonight. It'll have to be now, I think. With Campbell out of play, they'll move Lady Emily soon. And in a few days, Custis and Morgan will be out at the estate hunting, and we'll never catch them. Strange. I never thought I'd be the Pendleton heir, you know. I never expected any of this. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. 
He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. You're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Look out for the watch. They got no respect for laws. him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. I don't think they're gonna last much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. I don't think that's what that word means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other word, then. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor fools that drank that bad elixir. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Well, I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. 
Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. That Galvani is a leech. A doctor they call him now. Get into his office and you can find out what happened to my man who vanished. Robin ain't never been easier since the plague, but now there ain't hardly no reason to have anything. Nearly everybody's gone. I tell you, I ever meet that Sokolov who made all them walls of light and other such checkpoints for the boys of the City Watch. Well, I'm gonna give him my boot knife, right in the ear. A lot of blood, really. Wish I saw. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the mother two are gone. What do you think? I think he's dead. Right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? <laughs> suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot.
Attention Dunwall citizens, a mandatory... Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pay for the whiskeys? Shush up your mouth. You know I can't work out the right number of coin. It's embarrassing. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Right. There is someone once you're dead. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first I did. That's why it's taking me so long. I wanted to be sure and... What's that? Arden! No! No! Ah! So Kral is dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal and Slatjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The Cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. First job Slackjaw ever did before I was a boss, I broke into that place where the mighty thinkers go. The Academy of Natural Philosophers or what have you. I saw things, cutting up the dead. I tell you, Slackjaw will never go back. Them big whale ships used to come in five times more than they do now. That blubber oil is like gold. Hey, shut up. But the plague broke out on the ships and half the sailors turned into weepers. Dunwall citizens, this district is now under a... How does it work? What? The Wall of Light? Isn't it a wonder? It's one of Sokolov's latest inventions. They say the idea came to him in a vision. Yes, yes, but do you know how it works? I really couldn't say. But all the hairs on your body stand up when you walk through it. Keep your men from tampering. Let a tramp like you get a lixer. 
We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. Hand it over. No, please, it's for my baby. He needs it. It's us that needs it. If the City Watch gets sick, how are we gonna protect you? Protect me? You grab her, I'll get the elixir. You're gonna rot in a cell till you die, thief. No, I found it. It's for my baby. Help, someone please help me. Go ahead and yell. Ain't no one can hear you. No, I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. I didn't steal the elixir. I'm not a thief. Thank you, thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. Again? Hey, sweetheart. You wanna play with me? You're a lot cuter than my regulars. Sorry, lady. I'm on duty. I'm on duty, too. Want me to show you? <coughs> you want me to lose my job? Get lost. Excuse me. Just trying to make a living. His, His entire, entire family, family was taken, taken by, by the plague. plague. It's, it's just, just him now. They, they shipped, shipped them in from, from the farm to the lich's bastard daughters. And extra mouths that can't be fed. They thought they would be working in a factory. By the time they arrive, it's much too late. I say we take the fight to them. There's no proof. The rats are the proof. They're still just rats. Just rats? Rats that can strip a corpse to nothing in seconds. That's from the continent. I got a cousin, a traitor. Said he saw shit like that, and much, much worse. Even if you're right, what do we do? Send a fleet to the continent. Burn the whole country down. That'd show them. Now Morgan's on the first floor. I need to get the men in position. The ivory room. All I can tell you is, it's very heavily soundproofed. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Custis is easier to manage. Some nights he just waits in the smoking room upstairs and talks. It's funny what people will pay for. children inside? I told her. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. 
She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Dunstan, the Pendletons are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up! Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bunny? Not just like last time, understand? Slowly, and only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, I'd say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line and you are out of a job. Stay focused, please. Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Let's start with them. I've cheated them, robbed them of thousands. I can tell you love your work. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Careful. I have a condition. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. I deserve it. I said retribution. Now let me out. I'll have you whipped, you bitch. Stop. You'll kill me. What the? Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 879. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. Guards! Can anyone hear me? That's beautiful, honey. Go on with what you were saying, Morgan. And so then, the vote is 43 to 41 against us. But the bylaws stay that... The Lord Regent's provisional bylaws? That's exactly right. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before. Whatever happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. Who do you want me to be tonight, Lord Pendleton? Anyone you want. The High Overseer, for all I care. I've never been this drunk. Some of my friends say I look like Lady Boyle. Waverly? 
That lucky trollop. If I'd found those crystal deposits on my estate, I'd be throwing parties too. I'd be buying the Lord Regent's favor too, instead of begging for money from my cousins. I didn't mean to upset you, my lord. Wait. Wait. On second thought, maybe you should dress up like her. Yes, I think I should like to teach her a lesson. I would be glad to, my lord. Would you like me in white or black? Or red, perhaps? Let me think about this. Waverly did always like black. Oh, was that Lydia? Uh. Look at this. I don't know. Some kind of mask, he said. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word. But he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fight plague mad, he had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. Know what I think? He's one of Dowd's. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. You've been reading too many scary novels. You think I'm scared? You're shaking like a little girl. Go jump off Caldwin's bridge. How did you know how to do that? Most of the women here were farm girls whose parents sold them to the madam. I trained in the school at Samara, the finest in the world. I trained in a great many things. Morgan and Custis are gonna take hours. They always do. Tell me then, how can I satisfy you? Could you... Well, there's a part of me that's never been the same since I was in the fighting pits. There was a hound. You're not the only one this happens to. What is that noise? Oh no. mask. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way.
Did you hear what that little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to escape. Somehow she found the VIP exit. Really? Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now and she carries the only key. Why is she here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendletons? No idea. They keep her hidden away. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. Stop fussing with my collar, Mama. The dance is starting soon. Is my hair smooth enough? Be sure to be there. Little birds, I've got some seed for you. Lousy way to make coin. Poor bastard. Stuff can't be worth nothing, can they? Not a chance. I think I remember having seen this painting at my grandmother's place. She wasn't no duchess. Yeah, probably can't even sell it for junk. Not worth the time taking it off the walls. I might go upstairs, see if the mother two found something worth the trouble. such a strong door unless they kept some interesting things on its other side. I'm telling you, it won't budge. Not even a bit. And I think I bruised out my shoulder. Stop your crying and give another shove. Just imagine what could be behind it. That'll get you through the pain. If you're so sure, then you shove it.
You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, them Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. I met your friend Samuel. He's going to show me how to steer this boat. Samuel and I were worried about you, Porvo. Ready when you are. This place is rotten. Samuel says the Hound Pits is nicer. An old lady helped me find my way to the boat. She seemed a little strange, though. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of going up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move.
I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. Gamble's journal. It's amazing how many Overseers he's been blackmailing. It really is the key to the Abbey. Your work at the Golden Cat was something for the poets, Corvo. Both targets eliminated and Emily delivered to us without so much as a bump or a bruise. The city is better off without the men you took care of, those loudish twins. And now, Lord Pendleton can slow the Lord Regent down in Parliament. Gum up the works. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. Sokolov's unpredictable. And as head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy, he's an odd bird, to be sure. You showed skill in dealing with the Pendletons. I'm impressed. When a fight starts in a brothel, well, I've seen it go poorly. You know Sokolov, don't you? They say genius and madness are so finely balanced in his personality that no one can tell the difference. Sokolov's on the bridge right now, but he's given to late-night wanderings. Best to move as soon as possible. He's one of the keys to this puzzle, to putting things right. If we could bring him to our side, think what he and Piero could accomplish together. I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. I'll be giving your quarters a good scrubbing. I hope you don't mind having a lady in your room. I envy your trip to the Golden Cat. They must have gorgeous gowns. You startled me. You moved so silently, you could have been a dancer. A night at the Golden Cat, Corvo. I wonder if it's your first time. Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. I suppose this means I'll have to have children, or else recognize one of my bastards. This will be a new beginning for the Pendletons. I'll make sure of that. Lord of Pendleton Manor. If Waverly could see me now. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. I must fetch the mourning garments. His lordship has never looked well in black. If only there had been another way. I have always hoped to see the Pendleton name redeemed. For the first time in years, it seems possible. We can give you the tour later, when you're rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? So I get to stay in this smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. The horror she has seen. But all that's almost over. Now is my time to show my worth in this coalition. I knew this was why they brought me here. But I didn't want to say it out loud lest it not happen. Superstitious, I know. So 
Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Curfew means ain't nobody allowed to be just wandering about, except us cars. Yeah, I know, but, but if we do see something, then what? You say something? Remind them about curfew? You know, don't remind them. Chase him down, and you give him a severely deadly beating, is what. Okay, yeah, I got it. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Severely deadly beating. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the Regent, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise.
plague and this blasted curfew, how is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. The royal physician will be fine too until he crosses the wrong man. I pull nails from their feet with my own teeth. I will taste their eyes against my tongue like the eggs of fish. I will set fire to the hairs of their faces. Huh? Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting.
charger before your ship when the duty officer brings it by. And the pilot will fry you. Those things give me the willy, sir. He'll well, be thankful when the slack jaws boys are gone and saw the slitcher. I hope he was smart enough to stash him someplace before he got caught. You're the one told him to go scout around. That's right. Kid Scouting dead. is when you find out what the guards are doing and come back. To live past 20. Well, so now we know what the guards are doing. The reason you scout is so you don't end up in a cell. What Alec did was the exact opposite of scouting. And we saw the arc pylons. They're still there. Great. Yes, the pylons are still there, in case we want to go and get ourselves killed. Look, are we gonna bust Alec out or not? Eventually, sure. He's the only one who can tell us about the pearls. Let him rot in a cell a while longer. We'll be more careful next time. <laughs> hey, you there! Show yourself! City Watch, wake up! We've got some low-life breaking curfew. Let's show them who owns the bridge. Oh, yes. Give me Flippin' Royal Dunwall. Okay, one last time. Then we gotta keep an eye on things. Please. Ready? Now, you got your basic pair and two pair. Next comes the tall towers. And then, Captain's Quarters. Got it so far? I'm not an idiot. What's next? Then you got your Dunwall. And above that, the Royal Dunwall. Which is what you had. A very, very good hand. Only one thing can beat it. Very rare. Which is what I had. And that's the, uh... Come on, say it. Say it. I want you to say it with me. Or you'll never learn. The Lord Regent's Purse. Nothing to do. And I like climbing the pillars. Just leave the oil tanks. Me. Why they always gotta put me on you? I just. so thirsty oh there's plenty of water where you're going you river slime <laughs> now wait a bit what do you mean 
You ain't gonna dump me in the flooded district, are you? the mask and the hand tattoo. Listen, I ain't no criminal. I just collect river cross pearls. They chased me down, and I had to hide my catch. You help me, and I'll show you where the pearls are. Just split them with you. Wait, don't be a fool. We can split the pearls. Whatever you want. They'll kill me. They'll dump me in the water. You need the key to get me out. Yeah, yeah, just look around. Just follow me. I'll show you the place. No one saw me drop it. You won't be sorry. We can split them right down the middle. Now I'm out of that cell, I'm feeling myself again. River crust. I don't like them. That spit of their stings like fire. Get rid of that thing, or I won't go further. Someone killed with your stupid pranks. You were the first to laugh when I tricked Gunders into the chip. That was no different. time to blow a cloud. We got somebody about. Locked up? I was afraid of that. That key will be on one of those guards. It's up to you. You still want them pearls, I mean. Many honest men left these days. Get him! The betty's got a coin or two on him. Somebody oh. get over here! Cut the bastard up for the hatch! Take him down! I'm gonna dump you in the river after I cut.
just love watching them turn and turn. What, them wheels? Yes, around and around, like the cycle of life. Such a wondrous symbol of the progress we've made in industry and invention. If you say so, sir. And remember, guardsmen, we must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad on your record. Very bad indeed, should the factory shut down in your watch. Yes, sir. Ah. Things are bad. Could this city get any worse? Chances are very good. <clears throat> rats off me so that I can get out. Thank you for helping me. I thought it was safe. But there were rats. So many rats. Completely infested. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone. But he's dead now, like the others who were living here.
Captain Grayson. You haven't been thinking again, have you? No, 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 sir. Not, not thinking. I was just wondering, if Sokoloft is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague, why is it he always asks for healthy citizens? I mean, if you follow my meaning, sir. You have no mind for natural philosophy. Obviously, it's because the ones already sick with plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with any useful information. It's just a shame, is all. Like that woman the other day. She was easy to look at. Seemed nice enough. Shame she has to die, I mean, and so horrible like, too. Now you listen to me. It's none of our concern the how or why of things. And if you want your elixir rations, then I suggest you stop your wondering. These are pigs. Pigs for Sokolov's experiments. And pigs mean nothing to me. Understand? Right, right. I mean, why worry about a couple of disgusting, smelly pigs, you know? All pigs get slaughtered sooner or later. Better if I wonder about those sounds we heard from the warehouse, right? I mean, <laughs> what was that all about? That's better. You'll go far, Grayson. Did you hear what those guards were saying? Keep your voice down. I heard. But what am I supposed to do about it? Don't you get it? We're gonna die. That madman Sokolov is going to do something terrible to us. We have to get out. Shh! They'll hear you! If you have a plan, then I'm happy to hear it. But otherwise, you're just drawing attention to us. Pass me by. All the others down with the sickness. What? Someone help me out! Take that! <laughs> I don't know who you are or why you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. Asking to know what's going on up there. I was just asking if you heard the screams too. Of course I've heard them. I would be more worried if there were no screams. What's that? A riddle? A word game? Okay, so why would no screams worry you more? Because it is our job to look after Sokolov and make absolutely sure he continues his work. The screams are evidence his work continues. Thus, the screams are evidence that I have done my job. We. The screams are evidence we have done our job. You know, Guardsman, I don't care for you very much. You, but him and all his strange things creep me out. Huh? Well, without Sokolov and his strange things, you would probably be dead by now. Can't 
one of our own doctors make a cure? I mean, why does it have to be a filthy foreigner like Sokolov? Don't hesitate to go upstairs and ask a madman yourself. Lose my daily elixir ration? I'm not that stupid. If you say so. You two, stop chatting and wandering around. Go back to work. my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment. As for Test Subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Please, sir. Please let me go. Ah, awake, I see. How are you feeling? Much. Much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir, I don't want to die. Hush now, no one's going to die. You are much improved, number 312. The formula I administer to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet, because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow will make all the difference. Really? You'll release me tomorrow? I'm not gonna die. Yes. Tomorrow, I will have the guards remove you from this cell. Late morning, perhaps. But the pain! Can't you give me something for the pain? I do have many pain remedies, yes. But alas, I cannot give you any. They could interfere with my research. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease. Thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. What? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. If you'll just let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am the Royal Physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! Before you do anything rash, I think we can come to an agreement. It doesn't matter who sent you. Whatever they are paying you, I will double it, triple it. No? 
Well, money is not the only thing I have in abundance. Perhaps there are other rewards you seek. I see you are a determined man. Is there nothing I can offer you? Sir? I can't say I'm surprised. I knew someone would come eventually. But you're not what I expected. There's no need for violence. We can be great friends, you and I. Will you join me to drink? Sit and talk a while. Come, we'll discuss your future. Money, women, whatever you want. There is much to learn from the stars for those fluent in their tongue. I could consult my astronomical charts. Is there no reasoning with you? Damn it. Someone help me. No, no, no! <laughs> Whoever you are, he kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now, so I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Did he get any work? Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. I hope they don't have to hurt him. He's done some good in his time. Made that elixir against the plague, he did. 
Clever man, Sokolov. Look what it led him to. <laughs> I'm working on a new arc pylon. It will perform absolutely stunning acts of destruction, I expect. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Yes, Mr. Corvo. I'll make sure your quarters are clean, sir. So much dust. It must blow down from the upper city. They let that Emily run wild. It's not how I do it, if you don't mind my saying. Restless hands do no good, they say. Lord Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. I'm sure you understand. Chapter 41, in which I bed two of the Boyle women and only missed the third by virtue of some inclement weather. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice, and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Confound these interruptions! I want you to know I understand your actions with regards to Custis and Morgan. They were horrible men. Lord Pendleton shares little with his brothers, other than name. The stories I could tell you about what my lord's older brothers did to some of the staff, especially the maids. It's beyond my station, but I must say they were beasts, dressed as nobles. Lord Pendleton will return on the morrow. La di da, di da, di da. La di da, di da. La di da, di da. Di da. Da, da, la, di, da, da, da. Don't worry. We won't start the interrogation without you. Give me a length of rope and a bucket of seawater. That's all I need to break a man. The royal physician has a subtle mind. He may attempt to trick us. He's only a natural philosopher. How tough could he be? Good work, Corvo. Get some rest and we'll take a crack at him tomorrow. Where do I find a good meal around here? 
If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captives. I think the overseers make it themselves. I wonder what Piero thinks of our guest. I still wake up thinking I'm in the stocks. The nursemaid Callista is quite fetching, huh? Or maybe I've been in prison too long. I'll sleep like the dead tonight. We're getting closer to reaching our goals, but our position is becoming more dangerous. You don't house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude, if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in Emily, but she's strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Logic is flawed, anyone can see that. And not an original idea to be heard. His notes are a mess if he even keeps them. How he got this far is anyone's guess. He says what they want to hear. Friend of the rich, that's his method. Sokolov's true genius is pampering the aristocracy. Fools. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. She still has bad dreams. Though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Little Emily. Someday soon an empress. But only an exhausted child at the moment. Poor girl. She's been through so much. I hate to say it, but we're counting on you to make things better. I'll stay right here, by her side all night. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates instead of a cloth napkin. I've only the bar rack. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do.
making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The ascent. I know it looks. I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. Thank you for being a gentleman. Now, if you'll excuse me, if you don't mind, Obviously, I'd like to be alone in here. Excuse me, a lady needs her privacy. Have you never seen a woman before? Not all of us are empresses. The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. First you joined us, then Overseer Martin, then Lady Emily. And Mr. Sokolov. More dishes and laundry for me. At least make me feel safer. At one time, we used to have colorful bedding. Someone bleached it all trying to kill plague germs. It's gotten so bad that I can barely walk anyway, even during the day. Those dogs from the city watch are terrible. Just mean. No one here can sing. I think we could use some song here. Some music. Good morning, Corvo. I believe Sokolov is awake now. The Admiral is with him now. I'm sure they are ready to start on your arrival. The High Overseer is supposed to be the most pious man in the Empire, living completely in alignment with the Seven Strictures and guiding the people in the religious faction towards spiritual health. Campbell was a farce. If not for all the blackmail material he accumulated, He'd have never been more than a lower-level initiate among overseers. The Admiral Lord Pendleton and I have already begun using some of what we've learned from Campbell's Black Book, Corvo. You've given us powerful leverage to get the overseers on our side. I can't thank you enough. I'll speak to you later. I've got to go through Campbell's journal again. It's incredible. A decade of secrets, betrayals, and observations. Now I understand how such a man rose to the top of the Abbey. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wines. We must admire Lord Pendleton's composure in the face of his terrible loss. That mark on your hand, is it a tattoo or a brand? It's disturbing, I must say. Surely you're not superstitious.
I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent, but it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Anton Sokolov dined with us at the manor several years ago. He is both brilliant and disgusting. I doubt he has changed much. Bringing in Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regent's got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. We need information to break his hold. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. I'm grateful for your discretion in the technical matter we spoke of. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Grateful for we were rivals in the academy, yes. Matters. He was jealous of my agile brain and youthful energies. But he's dead now. And what can I say about him? Sokolov, he did improve on some inventions. He did well for himself in his way. He had many admirers among the aristocracy, especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy. He was a painter of portraits. They say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Time will tell. I could use a drink.
King Street Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I swear I never saw her face, although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city, and perhaps the Empire itself. I assume I will remain in this kennel for the duration of your little protest movement. I don't suppose you have anything to read. Wilmot's History of the Lesser Perversions, perhaps? You're mistaken if you think I care a fig for the Lord Regent. The man's neurotic. He's the source of most of our trouble, I suspect. You're a far more interesting person than I took you for, Corvo. One day we'll have quite a conversation. I never believed you were the one to strike down the Empress, Corvo. She cared for you greatly. But I suspect you'll be the man to put the next Empress on the throne. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. I'll be sorry to miss the whole affair, but you know how it is. Top secret missions and all that. It's rather important. I wouldn't trust anyone but you to deliver the message to Lord Shaw. The note is brief, but Lord Shaw will understand it. Watch yourself among the Lord Regent's noble bootlickers. I do hate to bother you with the matter of this message, but it's of importance and you'll be able to handle it better than anyone else, I assure you. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course, dozens, oh yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself, and that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. are going, I can't be sure we'll see each other again. I just wanted to tell you I'm doing well, and I'm safe, for now. My job, caring for a young girl, is better than I expected, though she can be very trying. But I'm treated well. There is enough to eat. I fare better than most, I suppose. We are the last of our family, Uncle Kurnow. We just have to go on living, if we can. May we see each other soon. Your niece, Callista. 
Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. My doll Mrs. Pilsen was there the day my mother died. We both saw it. I bet Mrs. Pilsen would have liked it there. I hope she's safe, wherever she is. If I ever see my doll again, I'm going to declare a holiday across the Empire. A masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Entering a hive of aristocrats, all who live to kiss the Lord Regent's backside. I'd rather swim with the hagfish. Lord Pendleton is an exception, of course. The Boyle family is notorious in high society for their decadence and cruelty. I wish you well. Getting in and out of Boyle Manor won't be trivial. You could apply force or guile. Trust your gut in knowing which is the best approach. That thing with the brandy, simply brilliant. A boil costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. How can it be that I know such things? This place gives me the creeps. Didn't old Granny Rags used to live right here? Who? That crazy old lady? They say she used to be a noblewoman until her whole family died off. They say she sold them to the outsider. How about this? You do your damn job, and I'll watch out for scary old ladies. Is that what you dreamed of, all those months in Coldridge Prison while waiting for the Executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine? And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Listen, I can hear them. that evening in the garden, but she lost her voice right at the start. 
And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing, and they had one of their... you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed, and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I will take one of those zealots apart myself. I'll be right behind you. Say they didn't have it coming. The filth. Why, it's a fortress. Mm. Have you ever been in? Oh, they went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. Mm. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place to stay. I should cut them out entirely. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on, once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma's style. Lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. I damn, I want some wine. Invitation, please. Right this way, sir. I should cut them out entirely. All of them. Are you looking forward to the party? Oh, that's an awful mask. Where can I get one? Ah, Mr. Bunting. Just had someone here pretending to be you. Welcome. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now? What is it tonight? Guess which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical, but one's in red, one's in black, one's in white. Their surprise at the end. The Boyle cameo. As if they don't get enough attention. Then again, the cameo is worth a lot. Doesn't Esma's bedroom have a balcony? If you could get up there, I bet you could find something. More likely I'd end up in Cold Ridge Prison. The City Watch is everywhere tonight, but at least you're thinking. There must be another way. Waverly likes to be seen in red. Which everyone knows. Too obvious. You know, I hear there are other ways into Esma's bedroom. Oh, don't flatter yourself. Just thinking out loud, dear. I hear the whole second floor is off limits tonight. Too many guests walking off with their valuables.
The party's indoors this time. Are you going to be playing the Boyle's game? Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Never doubt it. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up. And let's see what you're made of. Be it noted that Lord Pendleton's representative has a pistol. You may proceed. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop. Stand right there. Three. Two. One. Another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. Indeed, I believe so. Play, too. Are you sure? That's not Welcome how I remember party. it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's what they want you to think. Watch what you're saying. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. He'll make us great again. Some of us will be great. The Boils, at least. Now, now. It's just luck they found crystals on their land. And that we can't make the rat lights without them. And we can't get rid of the rats. Rat lights and whale oil. That's all we live for now. We found out what the whales could do, and it made us an empire. This is the beginning of a golden age. Do you know they've dug down and found the ruins of another city under this one? Before the overseers. Before anything. I bet they thought they were in a golden age, too. You need another drink, friend. Stop it, boys. Step back, sir. I don't believe we're acquainted. You? A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. Don't be silly. The rumors say the Boyles practically own your estate. What if I said I could get you out of the city, away from all this, to Sir Konos or further? I don't believe you. But if you're telling the truth... We should talk further, but not here. Excuse me. Oh, leave him be. It's a party. This is a private conversation. It's a party. It's called mingling. Mingle all you want, then. We'll speak later. I'll find you. Good evening. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. It's so hot in here, I'd do anything for a drink. Go ahead, help yourself. I take everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. Will you be leaving this?
the city during the Fugue Feast this year? No, no, no. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in white tonight. Perhaps she's pretending By to be a virgin. Additionally, Lydia's in like black. Just before the Tell me, have you learned anything more? Welcome to my party. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Deliciously sinful mask. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Never doubt it. Seem interesting? I love that mark on the back Did of your hair about Mrs. Brimsley. You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street, barely 16 years old. No family left. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Or else. I heard she bathed in her own nephew's blood. Ridiculous! What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outsider. To keep them safe. Emma, you could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere they don't want. The Brimsleys made an awful lot of money this past century. Makes you wonder if those rituals work. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed himself very much. For a while. You there, stop that! Oh, hello, I'm Ella. Enjoy the party, if you can. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade, join the city watch. Your house built its fortune in crisis. You can do so again. Land is worthless now. My buildings are full of corpses and rats. Where's the fortune there? If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your family starve. Sell your wife into prostitution. I'm sure I can get you a good price. You, you son of a bitch. There's the old pirate Mrs. spirit. Mrs. Things are changing too fast to give up just yet. First that nasty mess with the Empress, now the High Overseer's gone. Parliament is shifting. The whole city's turning upside Hello, down. Hello, sir. If we only had a good war to get into. There you are. Although at this stage, I don't know who we could beat. But don't you see, we don't need to win a war, only lose it. Everything's revalued, and we let the conquerors worry about the problems. Interesting. I'll be informing the Lord Regent of your ideas in the morning. You don't mean... Have another drink, but go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a sir. I know your mission tonight. We must speak privately. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Don't you think this color suits me? What a deliciously sinful mask. 
What a handsome group of guards we have. I hope this plague lasts forever. No guesses past this point. Will you want to join us for hunting next year in the month of wind? This was once the house of a high overseer. Lydia Boyle took special care to desecrate each and every room. Society isn't what it was. Well, what is it? Oh, really? Tell me. Well done. But you'll have to name all three of us for the cameo. What do you mean, you'll save my life? What? Why? Who sent you? Very well. I... I've no wish to die. But I won't wait long. And if you're lying, I'll see you hang. Do you want to join us for hunting the Waverly Boyle. Wind? She, she acts as if too good for her many suitors. suitors. But, but the servant boys know her well enough. Old friends are cut from the guest list at the nearest room of plague. To 
Tonight, the nobles try to conceal their indiscretions. I still miss them. We were such good friends. The youngest of the boil women. She suffers from reckless frivolity. Followed by long bouts of melody. The society of Dunwall know better than to make an enemy waving war. A favorite game of hers is to befriend a young socialite, and then see her ruined within a year. A servant from Morley once stirred her so deeply, she had him killed the next day. The other families dare not make a move without first approval from the three ladies' spoil. You found her! Quickly, let's get her on board. Last, oh my love, someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. Hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Lord Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Pendleton's here someplace. The river's the only way out of here. Things are moving pretty fast now, eh? All that with Lady Boyle just now will probably put the Lord Regent into a state. I'll be ready in case you need to leave in a hurry. I'm tired, but as long as you're up and about, I'm gonna stand at the ready, Corvo. You go update the others, sir. And I'll watch the water. Like as not, they'll come from the river if they come. I like it out here by the water's edge. The sound of the river is relaxing. A pity about the smell. I never did sleep right on land. The sea's in my blood.
I trust you enjoyed the Boyle's hospitality. Lord Pendleton is anxious to see you. I think he is taking his morning refreshment. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. I regret my connections haven't been more used to you. When this business is over, though, then you'll see what I'm worth. Havelock is attempting to have as many of the Lord Regent's guards reassigned as possible, but he may not succeed. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached unreasonable levels. I miss Morgan a little. Custis? Maybe not so much. Parliament's been paralyzed for weeks, just the way we need. Lady Boyle's party was nothing compared to what I have planned at Pendleton Manor. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. Come very far, Corvo. We are almost there. We are moving closer and closer to an empire free of the corrupt and depraved. Not much further now, Corvo. Only a matter of time before this is all over. If it goes our way, it'll be glorious. There was rioting in the Taylor's district last night. The people demanding food, elixir against the plague and better treatment. Stiltwalker guards set some of them on fire. I wish I had a fraction of your skills. I did, years gone by. Hmm. I wonder if Lydia has put on tea yet. The Admiral has been telling me about sea life. It sounds like a fine way to live. Then again, I'm sure he'd enjoy the opulence of Dunwall Tower. The Boyle Manor is a hornet's nest today. Lord Regent Hiram Burroughs must sense that his time is running out. I once snuck into a party at the Brimsleys. Very strange it was, too. Had a fun night out, did you? I bet you enjoyed yourself over there. I do like a masked ball. So mysterious. No one likes a party better than I do. Hello, love. That is not the vintage I asked for, you half-wit ox! 
No matter, just set it down. Leave both bottles and get out. I'm trying to write my memoirs. Corvo. Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. Hello, sir. I just don't like the way they look at me. I'm not a fool. I know I'd be the first to go if they got rid of people. My old mother used to work at the boils. The stories she'd tell. I don't think that the boils are at all good looking. What I wouldn't give to go to one of those parties. Must seem a little drab coming back here. from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river, in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it, as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while anyway. you will still need to study. And as Empress, you'll have proper tutors, one for each subject, and many personal servants. She asks if she'll have spies. Yes, I tell her, I suppose you will. And advisors, so many advisors your head will spin. She wants a cake maker. Well, I tell her you'll have a whole kitchen staff with an army of chefs. And of course she asks if she can have cake every, every day. And I say, if that is your wish, my young Empress, which, always makes her giggle. Sometimes she gets so sad, remembering these things. They remind her of a poor mother. It's been six months, and Emily is resilient, but sometimes I can hear her crying when she thinks I'm asleep. Hello, I am Calista, and I am Emily's teacher, and this is my lesson plan. Boring sums, boring history, boring geography, boring, boring, boring seven structures. Ugh, why can't we study sword fighting, and sailing, and, and monsters? Copper wiring is making all the difference, increasing the output by almost 50%, yet the whale oil still has too many impurities. I need to find a way to filter it myself if that idiot can't provide a better grade. Even the academy doesn't have anything that will refine it to the specifications I require. Something new then. Perhaps using charcoal or a multiple chamber device. I feel confident that the answer will come to me tonight as I slumber. Hello to you, Corvo. I imagine you made that masquerade a lively event. I doubt there will be another high society party that will live up to it. 
Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. What are the principal islands in the Empire? Uh, Circanos, Gristol, Tivia, and Morley. And which one is the biggest? Gristol. And it's the best one, too. And how does whale oil work? That one's a trick. No one knows. Not even Piero. Excuse us, Corvo. I'm afraid you're a little distracting for the girl. Calissa talks in her sleep sometimes, but it's hard to tell what she's saying. I wish I had my own room. When I'm Empress, I'll never have to live in a place like this again. I dreamed the river got higher and higher, and we all climbed up to the top floor of the house into your room, but then the water turned into rats. I never have good dreams here. Do you think there's any treasure buried under here? I dug a hole once, but all I found was old bones. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses, but Calista made me throw it away. I need to start Emily on her sums. Perhaps she can inventory our whiskey supplies. Just think, our future Empress has a bar for a schoolhouse. As you can see, Lady Emily has quite an imagination. Any child would grow a little odd in a place like this. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. This is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from. Might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. whistling on duty. Regent asks, how's he gonna hear this assassin coming? At Barris, Doc for not bathing enough? He says the assassin's going to smell him in the dark. I have a mind to dock you for too much conversing, guardsman. Oh, no you won't. Cause I helped with the new alarms the Lord Regent asked for. And he says to me, good work. That's right, me. For a second, I thought he might even shake hands, but then, no. Quiet. Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer.
Attention, Dunwall Tower personnel. Remain on post until Don't you love the further from here? This place makes me sad. Why is that? This is where the Empress was killed by that wretched murderer. Everything changed for the worse after that day. It was a dark day for sure, but things were already bad with the play. In any case, I wouldn't dwell on it. Let me comfort you. I need to get back to work. Can I come by and see you later? I don't think it's a good idea tonight. Indeed, I believe so. Your report, General Tobias? Everything is secure on the grounds, Lord Regent. It won't hurt to check again. I'm going to head down and retire to my bedroom. Begging your pardon, sir. But I think it would be best if you stay in your safe room on the roof for now. I need the comfort of my own bed tonight. I trust you and your men can handle the tower security. Double the guard if you have to. Come see me before you finish your rounds. Yes, as you wish, Lord Regent. I'm heading up. Keep this area secure and use that alarm if there's any sign of trouble. Yes, sir. Citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust in the Regent. Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph. Secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. His chambers can be reached by the balcony. Be careful. It's likely he's in his chambers right now. It's over, isn't it? I won't need to make these announcements. My brother has a farm north of here. I think that's where I'll go. This train needs to go to the torture, I mean, the royal interrogator. Oh no, why do I have to take it? He's harmless, unless you're scheduled for execution or for questioning. He's so strange, always working on something he keeps secret. 
and he has that brute of a dog. Trust me, he's gentle as a lamb. Now, take him his food. Strange noises from the end of the hallway. It's probably coming from the torturer's rooms. He's a walking freak show. Just stay clear of him. Everyone does. What's wrong with him? He's mute. But it's more than that. I heard the overseers were furious because they suspect him of practicing the dark arts. But the regent ordered them to leave him alone for now. Like I said, avoid the area. Don't worry about me, sir. That sounds like a bad combination all around. Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold, what an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things? Make it all right again and crown a new empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. The Lord Regent resides here, as do those who await their turn with the Executioner, though their parts to differ. He walks the floor, careful to touch each stone only once. Counting. He cannot purge his mind of the thoughts. <coughs> Report. I have men at all entry points and guarding the safe room on the roof. No one could get past our defenses, sir. Good. I'm heading up to the Regent's chambers. Make sure you keep this area secure. Yes, General. mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same body? No, for the first will direct it one way, and the second another, until they stumble into a ditch. Likewise, two contrary thoughts cannot long abide in a man's mind, or he will become weak-willed and subject to any heresy. 
Restrict the lying tongue that is like a spark in a man's mouth. It is such a little thing, yet from one spark, an entire city may burn to the ground. The father of a lie will suffer a punishment compounded by each person related. Restrict roving feet that love to trespass. They pay no heed to the boundary stones of other men's fields. They wander into foreign lands, only to return with their souls blackened by iniquity. Any word on the masked felon? Our assassin? We have our best spies on it, but still no word on his identity. There are rumors he uses witchcraft. <laughs> he hides behind a mask and uses parlor tricks on the weak-minded. Of course, sir. Trust me, we'll find him. I hope so, General. Leave me now. Yes, Lord Regent. <clears throat>
If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandisian continent and let them take care of the poor for us. The plan worked perfectly at first. But the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at a sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter, rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick. But there's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe, or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked if everyone had just followed orders. What are you doing? I order you to put down your weapons. This is treason. It's over, Hiram. Your head will roll for what you've done. No! I'll make you rich men if you just let me go. I beg you. You nearly destroyed this city. No amount of money will undo that. Get him ready for the walk to Coldridge Prison. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, my dear, I miss you so. If only I'd put on a mask and attended your part. <clears throat> I wish I had the Empress Council right now. Clowns over here. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Big 
changes. It makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. I know it's a good day, but the rats are still here, aren't they? I look out at the river and still see the bodies going by. I wonder if the Admiral could get me a post in the Navy. I don't need anything fancy. I guess you'll be headed back to the tower soon. Gonna be a little easier this time, I hope. The river was in a temper this morning. Well, it's got moods, it does, like my poor wife used to. If you should have any need of me, I'll still be ready to go, Corvo. Just because the Lord Regent is defeated, doesn't mean I'll get lazy. I'm taking part in history here. Dunwall is on the verge of a new age, a better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered, as the worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. And one feisty little girl who hides the sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. But perhaps someday someone will listen to this and know that a humble sailor named Samuel was a part of it all. Back already? I'm happy to talk. I suspect my charm is the only thing keeping me alive. I'm beginning to suspect the Lord Regent is no longer in power. Am I correct? If so, either my usefulness is at an end, or else it is just beginning. You'd be foolish to kill me now. I can help your cause. I have inventions no one knows about. I hope my painting of Lady Boyle will be preserved. I realize it was just a tool in your machinations, but it is also great art, and her fall gives it a special quality. Piero's not such a bad fellow. I wish he'd forget about that business at the Academy. It won't be long now. Barring some unfortunate turn of events or betrayal, I will soon have a very astonishing title. Royal Physician. No, it's too much like Sokolov. Maybe it's time for a change. A reimagining. Something that will shake the Academy of Natural Philosophy to its stones. Royal Alchemist. Physicist. Royal Astrological Metaphysician. This is the story of the fancy dressed lady and the naked man. Once upon a time, there is a fancy dressed lady. And she came to the madam and said that the naked man wanted something. And she was mad about it. And then the naked man came in and he said it was just what he always gets. And the madam said, if that's what he wants, it'll be ten coin each time. And that it was Beatrice he'd be wanting to visit. And the fancy dressed lady said, see? And then she left. And then the naked man said Beatrice would do. And the madam said, ten coin, Custis. And the naked man said, Lord Pendleton, the end.
everyone says you did something good tonight. He's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. She'll need higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Do you provide these things? Of course not, no. I just think I should have a central role. She trusts me. It's true, she does, but she should trust all of us. Don't you trust me, Callista? tomorrow, aren't we? I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe a ship. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses, but Callista made me throw it away. You're not going to leave me when I'm impressed, are you? How many dresses will I have when I'm impressed? Callista says a hundred, but I just don't know if that's enough. I hope I'll make a good impress. Overseer Martin says I will. Admiral Havelock smells like tobacco. Do you think I can order him to throw away his cigars? Do you know Emily is quite special? She learned from all of us, you especially. She trusts you absolutely, I believe. Emily's happier than She's such a quiet child sometimes. I know we're supposed to relax now. I wish I could. Just think. I'll have tutored an empress. It will be good to hear people laugh in the streets again. What will you do after this, I wonder? Get married? Campbell's Black Book lets me control the Abbey, but only at a price. I must have a portrait made. Maybe Sokolov will do it, after what we've been through here. Emily comes first. In a pinch, Wallace could manage the estate. I wonder what the histories will say of me. I must remember to burn that memoir. You speak less and do more than any man I have known. I swear I'll help you find the murderer who struck down the Empress. Your life will be changed very soon. I really must get a wife. Still a few boils left, I suppose. Now, which was the prudish one again? When this is over, I'm going to have a truly fantastic set of clothes made. One of the strangest campaigns I ever fought. Emily's first act will be to rescind the warrant for your arrest. We can finally take that mask off you. You'll always drink free at the house. You know, we should hold a reunion with you. There's a pretty little forest just north of Holdfast, just waiting to be turned into frigates. The city watches rot through and through. Time to impose a little Navy discipline. We took control of the Abbey through blackmail. But perhaps over time we can wield a more legitimate authority. Callista is losing her faith, I fear. I must speak to her about that. Callista is a special case. She has more influence over Emily than anyone else. Except maybe you. Campbell's Black Book lets me control the Abbey, but only at a price. The Outsider has failed at destroying Dunwall. The people have been brought to their knees. They are strong and are beginning to rise again. So many dead. 
When things are better, I will suggest my lord fund a memorial to them. Everyone deserves to be remembered. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. And like you must be thinking of settling down. Gotta get the beds in order. The Hound Pits pub will be open for business again soon. And so will I. All this celebrating makes me feel 17 again. Hello, Corvo. The Pendletons owe you a debt. At last, an empress on the throne again. Blood will tell. I'll need some men to move these furnishings back to the manor. I'll actually miss this dank, dreary building when we return to the manor. You talk to him more than I do. Emily is taller and more beautiful each day. Maybe they'll let me sleep in tomorrow. Congratulations, Mr. Corvo. The Lord Regent falls, and I'm still here. Something good is coming. I could feel it. Do you need me to put something together for you? Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. I'm sorry something terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself, before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. 
poison Tibby and stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man.
once here, here breathing in the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. When the sea wall broke, many strange things were drowned and forgotten. They bring the bodies here with rough hands, rough hands in cages. Some of them are still breathing, the water is so cold, and it's the last thing they feel. These waters are greedy. They will never give back what they have taken. Even the terrible floods were not enough to wash away the sorrows of Dunwall. Why did you come back here? Hard to say. But we should watch the streets. We'll see up on the rooftops. All right. If nothing else, we can cut them off at the market. We can't get through the rail station without the key. This one is resourceful. You'll find a way.
I do not understand. Torvald's weaponry is of great quality. If Dowd will not use it himself, why don't he simply cast lots for it? What I do not understand is why you're voicing your complaints to me and not to Dowd himself. to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Correct. This prisoner we took, the bodyguard who was with the Empress, seems to trouble him gravely. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. Good luck on your assignment when you are permitted to leave. move unseen. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. on your destination with your eyes. That is folly and will limit the potential of the power. You know the layout of the room. Instead, focus on where you wish to be standing, and it will be so. Excellent. We have no more to teach you for now. Return to your place of rest. Your real work with us begins tomorrow night. Master. What is it? Forgive me, but Corval has escaped us. A sentry glimpsed him in the streets near the Greaves refinery. Very well. I suspect that in time he will come to me here. Now please lead me, and be vigilant. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Regent, Royal Spy Master, Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? 
None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. No two others could fight against the ticking clock. This is between Cargo and me. Ah. I've waited for this. Let's see if the outsider will save your life or mine. Ah. Why are you fighting? Or the men who poisoned you and left you to die? Are you dead, Empress? Go on! Strike as if you mean it! Get away from here! This is none of your concern. I have one more surprise for you. I ask for my life. When I killed your Empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the Outsider himself, and I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. The men you worked for asked you to kill for them, but you found some other way. You took a path I could have followed, but did not. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice.
must be be in a basement. <coughs> there's no hospital. I told you that. You think they round people up because there's a cure? There's city guards. <coughs> They're <coughs> supposed to, to protect people. <coughs> they did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance, I'll take. When, when I get out of there <coughs> and get better, I'm going to do right this time. A fresh start. This time. Goodbye, my boy. What the hell are you? Are you some new kind of guard? Like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? Uh, just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. soon. Took so long. It's the live ones crawling up out of the canal. Every ten minutes, I'm gutting another one. How many times have I specified that only cadavers take the long drop? It's why you get a weapon. So what is going on up at the tower? Now they're saying the Lord Regent started the plague himself. I don't understand it either. It looks like a whole other group's in charge. Doesn't change things for us down here. Second item is carriers. Are you seeing plaguers come off the cart looking healthy? A few of them make it back up, and then we've got ten times the mess. Could be. Between killing weepers and finishing the barricade, how should I know? Am I supposed to kill everyone I ever see down here? I'm just passing this on from the stilt walkers. Well, pass it to the men on the plague wagons. It's their job to gut these bastards before they throw them down here. We got another whale oil tank on its way. When the lights come on again, it'll be your job to spot any weepers. You think that helps? Now I can stare old ladies in the eye before I cut them down. Why do you think no one lasts on this job? I'm heading back to civilization. What's left of it. Keep your head and you'll be on the stilts in no time. I'll do my best. Put in a good word for me, would you? Hmm? Thank <laughs> you. 
Even if we get out of here, I'm worried. Listen to that. Magnus is worried. Apart from dying in the muck in the flooded district, what's to worry about? I'm saying even if we get out, we're just bringing it back to our families. I don't have a family, and if I did, I wouldn't care. No one's keeping me here. I'll infect the whole city. Just get me out. I heard Blake back in the stairwell talking about a plan. Sounds crazy. All of us here are too weak to do it. If I hear that thing power down, I'm going. Me too. I bet the family man here is right behind me. Get lost. Think that mask makes you safe? Going to use that sword for something? Get us out, maybe? You don't look sick. Get out while you can. What would it be like out there to live without fear again? To live like a person? No regent, no plague. I can barely even remember what that was like. Who are you hiding from in that mask? Just because we can't see the blood from your eyes doesn't mean you're not sick with the plague. You feeling the chills yet? Feeling the crazy yet? It's a strange tattoo on the back of your hand. I'll take that sword when you're dead. I've got things I need to do. Three days now. Three days and all I feel is hungry. What does that say to you? I don't know. That we don't have any food? I'm immune. I must be. One in a thousand and it's me. Terrific. I'll turn cartwheels on my way to the mass grave. Don't be bitter. You are not weeping yet. And the tall boys will probably kill me anyway. And maybe I'll dedicate myself to finding a cure. I'll be like Sokolov. Oh, cut the crap, will you? Once you're out, it will be out of sight, out of mind. Go throw yourself off a cliff. To escape you? I just might. Keep your distance, scum. You think I'm some beggar woman? I'm a Brinsley. If I were at home, I'd have you thrown out. There's a man here by the name of Blake. Industrious chap. He's our best bet out of here. You could find him across the back hall. Never again, I swear. Once I'm free, they'll never do this. That mask must have cost you. Are you of good family? No, you can't be. When I get out of here, I'll burn this place to the ground. I used to work the river. Eels Bend. Flooded District. The Whale's Tooth. I know the land out here, believe it. Only way out is past the Ark Pylon. And your friends? They could really help? They're twice as good as I am. When the Zapper goes down, they'll come for me. They won't rescue us while it's on? They're good, not crazy. When the pylon's off, they'll move and not before. I know you. I heard you've been all over town scaring the piss out of the higher-ups. You got quite a name. Too bad you're stuck down here with the rest of us. Listen, I've got friends coming to break me out of here in a couple of days. But we first need to take that Ark Pylon down. You'll find it in the courtyard just behind these buildings. You may want to take the stairs up, though. It'll give you a good vantage point. Pull the oil tank out and the pylon powers down. Don't take too long deciding. When they get the floodlights on, the tall boys are coming in to clear this place out. If you want my advice, head up these stairs. You'll get a bird's eye view of the problem. Might even see a solution. It's just one arc pylon. Should be easy for a man like you. Take down the pylon, or die trying. Between the plague and the tall boys, it'll come to the same thing soon enough. Me and my boys have smuggled more whale oil than you can imagine past here. You help me, and I'll owe you a favor. Trust old Blake on that. You gotta talk to Blake. He's my brother. He knows everything. Are you in? You part of the plan? I never knew my brother was a smuggler. I always thought that... 
that they were awful people. But now, now that's going to save our lives. seen nothing braver and I worked the river for 15 years thanks for shutting that thing off stay quiet and I'll get these people moving rat where's everybody going just get moved I don't know if I can ever repay you. Fight your way through if that's what you want. From the looks of you, you might just make it. Before they set up the art pylons, I had stacks some elixirs with me. Maybe you've already found them. At any rate, good luck out there. I don't know if I can ever repay you. All right, listen up, ladies and gents. Now, like I said before, it may be another day before my old buddies can get here, but they got a boat big enough for the lot of us. So just sit tight. The thing you learn from being a smuggler, half of any job's waiting. <coughs> With my rescue, the entire city might yet be saved. You are a boon to society, young sir. You did it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't expect me to celebrate. It still might be a week before Blake's friends get here. We could all be dead by then.
wish I had a last swig of whiskey. You're the masked guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. It was a fog. And then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased him deeper into the sewers. Like a nightmare. Something came up and started attacking. Slackjaw's still in there. If he can kill it, I don't know. City Watch bastards hiding behind their walls. I'm going to boil off the nasty fat and sinew and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop! Stop what you're doing! Can't we at least talk about it? My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What you doing? Listen on me, Corvo. Don't help her. Don't let her kill me. You can have anything I own. Corn, whiskey. I got a key to the sewerways. Whatever you want. You have to gut him first. She'll do the same to you. 
There's no dealing with her. She's mad. But you know Slackjaw always keeps his word. What are you doing? Don't help her. She's out of her mind. I can reward you. What do you want? Money? Weapons? Oh, no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. So many the rats. Of the great Couldn't Leviathan, them protect me! They do as I tell them, dear. Should I tell the rats it's time for dinner? You can't kill her with a sword. Not with a sword, you can't. You think you're going to save him? He's not worth it. Now Granny is going to kill It's the cameo. Just like the secret is the in the cameo. Just a piece from an old necklace, what understand? I on your skull? That you were a fool. Now you'll see what I can do. It works best if I boil you alive. Any chance you'll hop in the pot, dearie? You're a fool to try to help him. A fool. Now you're going to die. But it's supposed to be her, when she was young. That's where she gets her powers. Throw it into the furnace, burn the cameo, and you kill her. Unlock me. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up, and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. Find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between Granny Rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, you just killed the greatest assassin of the age. 
Did you do it for love of the Empress or Emily? Or was it the primal desire to rise above other men? Do you even know why? He had on a blue shirt. Did they take him? Yes, he's safe. That's such good news. Our boy is safe. He is. Both caps were decent. They were like the river men. They spread their nets wide and fill up all manner of things. The sweet, Deadly. Poisonous. All together in one cash. Your usefulness is spent. They long for news of your death. you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing. Saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself and died. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. Great party tonight. That was a 
was only a kid at the last coronation. We even make it to tonight. <laughs> you look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Threw the mask in the river, left out. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on, creeping closer and closer, ever closer, until... Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corbo, anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to men with our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying for the cover of the tall boys out back. Like you were, the other night. What was I supposed to do, stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's gonna be a new era. Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't gonna cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. He says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic, and the rats are never gonna leave until we had a real called one back. He says the outsider follows Corvo around. There's some curse on this city, that's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take him out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. Update. Our men are still trying to penetrate the workshop. Closed up tight. We think Piero Joplin's inside. That crackpot natural philosopher. There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened to him. I'll bet my commission he's in that building with Piero Joplin. If so, arrest him. But I don't want him harmed until I get to the bottom of all this. Careful. The place may be booby-trapped and I want him alive. What else? Yes, sir. The servants were all executed shortly before we arrived. Looks like a naval cutlass and a small bore pistol. Looks like Corvo ran a muck before he left. Turn this building inside out. And it goes without saying, this area is sealed. Still walkers at all points. And stay vigilant. Corvo's the most dangerous man in the Empire now, and he has nowhere else to go. Never thought he'd bother us again. I guess he holds a grudge. Refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you... About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. 
but it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... The river crusts, yes. I'd guessed as much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Astonishing! Arc Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. Well, I knew it was too good to be true. Seems the conspiracy tried to use old Piero for their own gain and, and discard him. But they have erred and delivered to me an ally almost as brilliant as myself. Old Sokolov and I will hold up here until we can blast the ruffians outside and make for the academy. Everything is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in the whale oil tanks to power. And you do the honor. Description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well.
This Piero of yours, a strange mind. But then my own is strange as well. If there is a cure to the plague, I believe we will find it. The old Empress would have liked that. She was a strange one. Stranger, I think, than you ever knew. But such things are past. And this new Empress, she's a strange one too. I wish you peace, Corvo, along with all the delights you can wring from the world. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't. Underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. All his talk of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. Please, talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. Now that you've eliminated the City Watch, I can find my way out of here. But there's no way I can help Emily the way you can. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you where you need to go. One last trip, I expect. I had one job. Take care of Emily. I tried as best I could. Go after Emily. I'll be fine. I really can't believe they did this, but if they were willing to kill to get what they wanted, I guess they'd be willing to do anything. Havelock is a power-hungry bastard. I can't stand the thought of her in his dirty hands. He knew you wouldn't let him use her. I guess the Admiral had a change of heart. And maybe Martin helped him along. Pendleton just went with them. That coward. I can't go with you. I'll be okay here. Just go. I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We'll need to get out of here soon. The Admiral controls the military now, Martin's high overseer, and Pendleton's in favor with the aristocracy and Parliament. They need Emily, of course. But if Havelock senses that it's all about to fall down around him, who knows what he's liable to do. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. This is it, sir. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talk 
something about this place is where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort, the gatehouse, and there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. I knew you were sharp, Corvo. But somehow you managed to get through all this mess without losing sight of what really matters. For that, I respect you. The city's gonna pull itself up, I believe. Too many good people here to let it all turn to ashes. I'd best be going. The battlefield's no place for an old sailor like me. That time is long past. Good luck, my friend. Came in a few days ago, but she keeps to herself. Must be a shock. I wonder what she's like. Just a kid, I guess. Magic. And suddenly, they tell you in a few years, you'll rule the Empire. What do you do? Me? So what the scores, I guess. Then order some pastries from that shop at Clamoring. Lots of them.
them in? No, they brought her in at night. But I've seen her before. You saw the Empress. You liar. I didn't know it was her. They hid her in a brothel for a while. Kid in a brothel. That's something you don't miss. Living in a brothel. I wonder what she's gonna be like when she grows up. What does it matter where she grew up? You'd be surprised. Little kids notice everything. Corvo get out of prison. Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job. We hadn't gotten greedy and afraid. If. Always too sure that was the problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. Only a question of how and when. I'm lacking a countermove. It's all fallen apart. All the steps that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea, took command of a ship, and made aimless men into sea. Made a collection of boats into a navy. Then founded a conspiracy and almost led an empire. No compromise. Never showed mercy. Never showed weakness. And I showed the world. Will and vision. And not being afraid of getting dirty. And now, I'll lose it all to a man with a faster sword hand. Or is it that he has a slower sword hand? There's something wrong. It'll make a good story for the history. I'll have a good epitaph. In his time, he commanded a noble lord, a high overseer. The man who brought down a tiger. Admiral Hammond, son of the High Ocean. Done such things, cowardly things, and I'm ashamed of. How could anyone ever forgive us? Would they? Even if things are better? No, no, that's not how it works. Once the bureaucrats step in, everything gets muddy. If anyone ever knew, we'd all lose our heads for this. So no one can know. And could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move, and we need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. I'd fight you, Corvo? Sorry to disappoint. This is yours. The key to Emily's cell. She'll be glad to see you. You made quite an impression on her. Did you know that? She asked about you constantly. Where you were. What you've been doing. I told her. In the end, I told her everything. From the start, when we had such noble goals in mind. To the end, when we were afraid fighting in secrecy about who we could trust and who we had to kill. 
arguing over who would act as new Lord Regent. And she listened, eyes wide. She's become an interesting girl. If she lives, she'll make a memorable empress. Go ahead. Kill me or take me to Coldridge Prison. Make your choice. She'll be watching. So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than a royal protector. Farewell, Corvo.
Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Casting off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touchy. Just don't do anything crazy. Sokolov changed everything again, and we don't know what the hydraulics can do now. We've got him here today doing a portrait. If there's a time to try something, it's now. Hello, sir. Corvo, you're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. All right then, let's go see Mother. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Run with me! You saw my improvements to the waterlock. I do my duty for the realm, but not gladly. In this painting, I insult my own genius. See what I'm forced to paint? The High Overseer is no beauty. I must preserve our High Overseer for future generations of the faithful to marvel at. I'm sure the Empress is eager to see you, eh, Corvo? I leave the worst parts of him in shadow, but still. Hmm. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. High Overseer, I must ask you to hold your pose. 
No foreigner can save us from the consequences of our corrupt society. No fancy elixirs, either. Remember, to every man his choice, to every man his fate. Say what you will, this plague has brought the faithful to our doors. Things are... She'll see you at once. <coughs> it's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? She's getting more beautiful every year. I'll be happy you're back <clears throat> with the watch. I'm no diplomat. Strange, we saw whales off Whitecliff. <coughs> it's too early in the year. I hope we're not fools to come back here. The plague's only getting worse. Mm -hmm. Hello, my lord. The Empress and young lady mm -hmm. Emily will be pleased to have you back, Lord Protector. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens. And we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, your majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What Follow news me, have you Captain. brought? We should leave them alone. Did you see any pirates? Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. Corvo, if you won't marry my mother, would you marry me? Later, will you show me that TV and chokehold like you promised? I won't tell mother. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> Emily, get behind me! Look out! Another one! <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. Ah! Ah! 
That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corpo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. the execution tomorrow. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the nice noble work. Lord Protector. Get a few more shot. before they get you. They're as bad as us betting on the dogs. You're out. Things. Good for you. Cut some throats. Attention. The solitary wing is off-limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Seen anybody with signs of the sickness? They don't get their ration of elixir. It's that simple. The military or the plague? Life is hard. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Slug, did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only.
Corvo's execution is tomorrow, right? Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't wait to see his head roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. You always amuse me. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the walk. Escort to the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. some kind of explosive to blast his way out. That doesn't happen by accident. You think he had help? Who'd know how to do that? Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merchants and whores down there. Kids like you, you never saw what he was like. I saw him fight three to one in the practice yard. He's a whirlwind. I hope it's me that finds him. I hope it is too. Elixir preventer? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there. The rats.
Attention Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the City Watch at once. Don't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Did I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? Blow off. Huh? Stay alert, you worms. He's not getting out this way on my watch. some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here, but I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business, half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Warriors. 
The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. I'm sure the Admiral is anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We've found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the others, but... There's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the crown. Have you talked to Piero yet? He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him when you can. You don't know what it means to work with a man who stood at the Empress's right hand. We can't bring her back, but at least we have the man she trusted most. And maybe we can help you right some of the wrongs done to you. This bar is mine, but please, treat it as your home. Piero still wants a word with you. He's, well, he's not a diplomat, but he's a brilliant man. Samuel is a blessing. Without him, we couldn't navigate the waters of the river at night. We keep our lights low to avoid prying eyes. What I wouldn't give to be back at sea. I told him I'd be damned if I sail under a usurper's flag. You should have seen their faces. Curse the Lord Regent. I might have taken to piracy after the Navy, but then inspiration struck me, and I started assembling our little group here. The Empire was built on its Navy. Never forget that. I served proudly until the bureaucrats took over. Pendleton's a good man. He used to be close to that snake, the Lord Regent himself. Don't be fooled by the fact that Pendleton's a noble, though. Not all of them are terrible. I bought this bar years ago. There were some happy times here before the plague hit the city. Before the Empress was killed and everything went to shit. We'll make it right again, together. I'll be 
be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. Now the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure and the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them years if need be, to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject to the necessary legal amnesty. Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it near the receptacle. Magnetism will do the rest. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask is a terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Center lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I.
Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days, but you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. There's something distinguished about you, Corvo. Was there nobility back in your family line? I wouldn't be surprised. Did you know I'm distant kin to the late Empress in her line? Not close enough, sadly. I'll never be Emperor. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. Most of the nobility went straight over to the Lord Regent's side after the Empress died. Easiest thing to do. But to me, a noble birth requires a sense of loyalty. This city has fallen into ruin since the plague struck. These poor weepers moaning and bleeding from the eyes. They say there's no cure for the plague once it advances that far. Mm. Terrible. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. I'm sorry it's so dark, we can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic though, isn't it? I used to be the hostess here. Oh, I can tell you stories about that, believe me. You can call on Cecilia for the more menial tasks. It's what she's suited for. I hope the bed's to your liking. Let me know if you have trouble sleeping. Please follow me to your quarters.
This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. Follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. This place is the end of all things, and of the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and bones not by teeth. This is the place from which those who dabble in the black arts draw their power. And this place is their doom. I can feel the great age ending. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.
early stages of the plague involve coughing and fever and can often be remedied through the liberal consumption of Sokolov's elixir. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian Cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Good day, Master Corvo. Lydia and I trade chores sometimes. And I'm starting to think I never come out ahead. She's a smart one. I hope the attic's to your liking. I slept there myself on summer nights. I went and knocked on the front door a few nights ago for a joke. No one thought it was funny. You know, I tried to attend services with the overseers for a while. They've just gotten more and more, I don't know, rabid about the seven strictures and witchcraft and all that nonsense. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Say, that's an interesting tattoo on your hand. Saw a lot of that in the Navy, but... Nothing quite like yours. Keep your eye out for Martin. I need him back here if we're going to pull this off. High Overseer Campbell tricked and bullied his way into power. The man is completely corrupt. The City Watch and the Overseers can't stand each other. The military doesn't mix well with a bunch of religious fanatics. You might be able to use that. Nervous? I would be. Tonight is the beginning of a new life for you. But you're killing for a just endeavor, remember that. High Overseer Campbell is a bastard, and we've got to find Emily. The Overseers are a strange bunch, completely obsessed with the Seven Strictures and hunting down heresy. I don't know if I believe in all that witchcraft bunk, but I saw some odd things at sea. My sister lost a tooth last month, fighting off some officer from the City Watch. The sooner the Lord Regent is gone, the better I say. Just you wait. I'll own this place one day. I've dreamed it. I think the Admiral's awfully distinguished, don't you? Everyone I know cried the day we heard the news about the Empress. Poor woman. And her little daughter lost. From what I understand, it just killed the Admiral to be cast out from the Navy. That was his life before the Lord Regent came along. Someone came and banged on the door a few nights ago. I thought Lord Pendleton would piss himself. Oh, begging your pardon. To think what I spend smuggling in wine for his lordship. That Wallace can cook, yes. But the way he talks to us, you'd think he was a lord himself. I'd work for you for a year for free if you managed to get that Lord Regent off the throne. 
none of the shops are open, all the business has dried up, and most people can't even walk the streets. That man's a blight on the city. Oh, Corvo? If you've a moment. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Does part of the soul live in the heart? I overheard the, the Admiral at breakfast talking about the, the overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't I know too much about what you people are doing. Forever with electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if I created these processes in waking hours. I am uneasy pursuing avenues that emanate from my dreaming mind. He's my uncle, and he means a lot to me. His name is Jeff Kernow. Captain Jeff Kernow. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. If you decide to go up Clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Watch out for the Bottle Street thugs if you take to the alleys. Mean bastards. I'll be here when you come back. Midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. <laughs> again what you'll do if Slack John as Bottle Street Boys jump you. Blow off.
left a block dead from the plague. Better them than us. At least some of them had money. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is the most honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, Sorry, I in can't help you. Crisis, I don't know this area the yet. Of the Abbey of the I'm only Man out because I was helping an older acquaintance get home. State and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local oh, dead yes. counter. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I think the little birdies are sad today. Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're to do your washing. Somebody, get over here! go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I'll wait until you've seen your present. Go ahead. I told you the knives go on the left. They won't work. You never listen. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. 
You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, Granny, Granny. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. <sighs> to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the way we do things on Bottle Street. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me.
Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Show me a drink, another night, another patrol with you. That's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. <laughs> Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. <clears throat> I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. <laughs>
Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead count. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. Sorts with crazies, does rituals and the like, bone charms and such. You sound afraid. Right, I doubt any more than a man. Touched by the outside things, give the dark powers. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district? With them weepers and wild hounds. That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs done. He'll want to check on you. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Little bastard. Train the overseers to be real religious. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's gone. He sneaks in. You know Eddie. Brilliant at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job. Hitting the dumbwaiter all night. Yeah. So he goes from room to room. Kids sleeping. An overseer giving a lecture to the kids. Couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. Then music, a kind of plinky plonky sound. That's what spooked him. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. There is a strong drink made here. I tried, I tried it once, distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. The brothels sprang up around the distilleries. 
They are inseparable. Okay, I got one for you. Well, give it. Okay, here goes. The nobleman laid with the scullery maid, so loudly they made quite a ride. The nobleman's wife took the butchering knife and carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done kind of both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the gist. Now it's your turn. Oh, uh, let me think. Um, okay. Yeah, I got one. Ready? I'm listening. There once was a sailor from Morley, who fancied a woman most sorely. He gave her his cash, she gave him a rash, and that's all. There isn't no Morley. <laughs> all right, you win. You win. Well, I know a hundred of these old rhymes. My mummy used to tell them at me. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. She wouldn't put the crackers on the right side of the tray. So... She wouldn't put the crackers on the right side of the tray, so he sat. I think my wife and I will be able to ride this thing out. The plague has to pass eventually. You look like somebody important, or dangerous. I've got no beef with you. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Attention, Dunwall ways. citizens. The following businesses the have, have been closed and impounded the by the state due to contamination. The river the rushed in with the area around. The whole district went and dark. And I will be glad to rest. Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. At the Academy, they cut the flesh of the dead and trap the lightning from the sky. Why am I so cold? The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. What have they done to me? My father had gold hair. My mother hair like ash. Dead? Cold as a whaler's calf hand. Fifty years old, at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look like twenty-five to me. Look here. It's twenty. It's five each, Count Boo. You want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me, kid. You think you can cheat me? 
Come on, let's get this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna loot your corpse. The city is built on the bones of the great ones. When the last of the is gone, darkness will fall. The abbey is dark, its doors are locked, and no more the great sermons. The overseers have taken to the streets. Can you hear them too, crying out in the dark? The thinkers of the city. They devise new ways to detain the elements. Once they are brought here, they never leave. The overseers always find the guild they seek. Hello, Martin. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Ha! Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. But that'll change. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me, or at least go gather some firewood. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging over them for days on end. Nothing would make me happier than joining you and the others, especially if they've tapped some of the finer kegs still left at the pub. The lever is just to my right here, Corvo. Outsider's eyes, these things chafe. Free me, and I swear I'll dedicate myself to our common cause. Only together can we end the Lord Regent and see young Lady Emily on the throne. With you as our sword arm, and I have full faith in our efforts. I'd appreciate it if you could release me. It's the only way we can undo the wrongs done to you and to the daughter of the Empress. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the High Overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the Seven Strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Never doubt it. your keen eyes wander tonight, boy. There's word of bad men about. Here's a good boy. Good boy, Justice. Settle down, man. It's only me. Boreal's gone to the Flooded District and all the rest of them, so it's just me tonight. What? Don't look at me like that. Who's that, Regal? And that's Ratter, isn't it? How are you, boys? You miss your poor brother.
punish those fools at Colbridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? High Remel, the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least. Somewhere near, a man has just taken his last breath. His eyes are still open. Misery. Everywhere. Search the place top to bottom, and nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we didn't find anything. Did I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck open, and I thought I could slip out? I couldn't find a way down. By the time I got back, it had snapped shut. I spent the rest of lockdown out on a ledge. <laughs> Maybe the outsider was watching. Once they brought here, they never leave. The overseers always find the guilt they seek. Even now he whispers the prayer against the trap. Can you hear it? Back to the beginning. It was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Empire. He's as skilled as they say. He got through there with half the watch looking for him. He had help, yes, but how far does it go? The trail goes to Martin, but Martin knows everyone, everywhere. Bunch of children playing games, that's all it is. Good, good. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hole up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you.
I hope you won't refuse. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. One of the servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. Stop playing and come out at once. What we have is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender, unusual tattooing on the face and chest, probably superstitious heresy, wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in, stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last? Give us a name at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit? He's gone. Here it is, a pin, hidden in one of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal.
my sister. She's not a witch. I know her. Out of the way. You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. Bertold, don't let them take me. I swear I've done nothing wrong. Silence your lying tongue, foul witch. Guards, to me! Ah! Oh. appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. I must get my sister to safety, but first I may know of a way to thank you. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Take what you want, and good luck. Your intent? 
to spread the malady to us? No, friend. I tell you, I am well. <laughs> as fit as ever. Put down your weapons. Just think for a moment before you... He was sick. Very, very sick. That much I'm sure of. Now to find some way to dispose of the body without spreading his illness. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all here. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother was killed. I'd imagine the daughter of an Empress is tougher than you think. Hmm. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the City Watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And... He currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting bloc for my family. I'm very much aware of that. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes. And Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere. 
waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. You know, I expected a rough-around-the-edges military man, like the Admiral. You're actually a gentleman. I heard a stilt-walker pass a few blocks away. They must suspect we're here. We're risking so much. I do hope it all ends well. I know you're from Circonis, south of us, but you've lived in the city for years now. Though mostly at the palace, so you probably haven't even seen some of the worst districts. You know, I always wondered if you and the Empress... Mm, no, I shouldn't ask. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. My pa always wanted me to be an overseer. If he could see us now. You did right, Corvo. Even as a faithful man, I can see that. Some nights, I'm glad I just paddle the boat. The Admiral was right in recruiting you. Nothing's been the same since the Lord Regent took power. But at least Campbell's gone and my uncle lived. Next time I see my uncle, I will not mention my knowledge of any of this. But he will wonder why I'm smiling. Someday he will be in a position to help you, and he will not hesitate. Just you wait and see. I feel... hope. My... There is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the High Overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. Can I be of service to you? Tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly. Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. 
Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future Empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find Welcome her. Welcome back, Master know. Corvo. Please learn your manners before then. My father served in the field under General Alfred Pendleton, where he took the wound that crippled him. I hope I will do no less if called upon. Until then, well, there is plenty of silver to polish. For my master's sake, I do hope a finer vintage becomes available. Why did they select such a drafty building as a base of operation? I had hoped the Admiral was of noble stock, but I very much fear he achieved his position through merit alone. Does no one have any silver polish? Sometimes I wonder if the plague is just going to go on and on and on, and kill everyone ever, and it's the end of the world. Think of that. If the city watch breaks in, I know what I'll do. I know how not to be noticed. I won't be the one to give us away. I saw the Lord Regent once. He stood on a balcony and stared. Wouldn't even wave to the people below. All I ever wanted is my own little place. Maybe if the plague kills enough folk, one day I can. Attention, Dunwall citizens. We'll have to you find are reminded soon. that assaulting a With member Campbell of the city has been move. made a capital offense. Whiskey and guardsmen are authorized to good carry out this sentence on the spot. The I offender's possessions are legally Nerves. forfeited. What sort of court will we be left with when all this is over? The grand social events I remember might well never return. Some of the noble families will have to be purged, of course. I'll drink to their memory. The outsider knows they wouldn't drink to mine. are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. Memoir, Chapter 28. Waverly, Waverly, Waverly. The very name sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel. Like all the boils. Sometimes I think this conspiracy feels like the start of a joke, don't you? An admiral, an aristocrat, and an overseer walk into a bar. <laughs> I wonder what the punchline will be. Without a leader, the Abbey's going to be in disarray for a while. But how to take advantage? Now's the moment when we need Martin. Damn these delays. If they ever find us, there'll be nothing left but ashes. When I bought this place, I never thought I'd be living here. The Navy was the only thing I loved and I refused to see the Lord Regent ruin it. What kind of woman will young Emily grow up to be? Or will she even get to grow up? What kind of an empress will she be? That Samuel fellow looks familiar to me, but I can't place him.
You're lucky I keep you on. It is every citizen's lucky. duty to report This place would fall apart in ten minutes actions. without me. The state depends is that on so? You. In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spreads fast. My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. When they come to get me, they'll be surprised. I've held a sword before, believe it or not. Please pardon the untidiness of the room. I will tend to it shortly. It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. Two barrels of flour, four weeks, eight men and three women... Oh no, I've lost it. All I ever wanted was to keep a respectable public house. Lady Lydia Pendleton. Ugh, no, I'd rather die of plague. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Master Piero has a great deal to learn in some areas. I'm sure Piero will make some lady a fine husband. Some other lady. I might even fancy him, but the way he stares at me, I don't even think he's aware of it. He spends all his time with books and machines. I don't think he understands that I'm not one of them. and weepers, roaming all over the city. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. This movement will have a cost. For some of us, it will be very high. I wonder, Corvo. Do you have brothers somewhere? You left your family on Sirkonos to come here for the Empress, didn't you? There will be lasting consequences when this is all said and done. Make no mistake about that.
affluent down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Good day to you, Corvo. Oh, I don't think I've noticed that tattoo on your hand before. It's interesting. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey, you've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Campbell's book appears to contain much more than we expected. He was blackmailing a number of highly ranked overseers. With the information in his journal, we will be able to manipulate the religious faction. The Overseers will bend to our will. You've never been to the Golden Cat? No, I suppose not. 